What's up guys, so in this video we're going to be trying out 3.0 Expo with Mirror on Ladder. I did just get to level 14, I was planning on making this video for like a while now. And we finally maxed our mirror, so... Also, I know Best of Day recently made a similar video, so just so you guys don't like sue me for plagiarism, I'll like put his channel up here, go subscribe to Best of But now that we have that out of the way... On the first game, okay, he's gonna go Zap, so usually Pekka, Lava, Sparky, Giant. I like the four main decks that come to mind here, so let's see what he does. Um, okay, so it's gonna be probably Lava Loon. I'm gonna Fireball just because it's gonna allow my Expo to get like a lot more damage on his tower, and the Balloon should die, and the Bomb doesn't come out so immediately, so we get a Sour down to 2300, so not bad at all. Um, we're probably down like a decent amount of Elixir after that. So if we go to Lava Hound, this could get a little tricky. So, okay, we're only down like 4 Elixir. So not as bad as I thought. And I think what we have to do is we have to like... Tesla and then... Go Archer, just bait out his Fireball. And then we gotta go... Mirror Archers as well. Just so... We can help DPS with Lava Hound. And okay, he goes Inferno instead of Balloon, which is good for me. Because let's go skeletons and that. Actually, I, I should have played them all in one lane. Because one of them goes off to the right, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. And since we have Archie's counter pushing, I'm going to go in for another expo at the river here. And this might be tower down if he just decides to let it go. So he's going to go minions. Okay, let's just knight here. So we can take for one of the minions and then also help kill his goblin brawler. And I'm going to log just because I think we'll be able to take a tower. Okay, he's going to go balloon. So most likely you're going to zap. So I think the balloon will get a hit, but I'm going to fireball anyways just because I want to prevent as much damage as possible. But yeah, there's a zap. You can actually fully counter the balloon just with the well time fireball. But if they know what, know what they're doing, they'll zap just to get one hit in. But going to doubles is looking pretty good for us. I'm going to keep a pressure just because it might, he might be able to get my second tower. So I just want to make sure I have a comfortable damage lead. And I'm going to let that go just because... I don't feel like it's worth it to mirror my skeletons on that. I'm just gonna try to defend this. And I think we can go for like another Tesla over here. Just to like push the Hound back. Oh, oh wow, that's actually, actually a good fireball on his end. Um, I didn't expect no fireball because the boom would have actually gone to my other Tesla. But yeah, it's gonna be tower down. Um, I was hoping because like that Tesla would keep the Lava Hound far enough to not activate my other Tesla. So I'd be able to kill his balloon, but I think this is fine because we're going same lane uh, in the two tower. So I'm just gonna fireball, maybe kill the inferno dragon my X1 tower. He doesn't have garden cycle, yeah. Okay, my is gonna lock here, and he goes lava the back. Um, I think we can go knight archer the pocket, maybe get some tower damage. He's gonna goblin cage that. So this might get tricky, I have to mirror archer just because my cycle is kind of bad. And then we have Tesla, he's gonna balloon. Gotta go for well time fireball here. So we can push that balloon back. And then we're gonna log in his guards. That balloon is not gonna connect to my tower. Although he has a lot of spam right now, so this could get a little sketchy. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. Alright, yeah, so he's gonna take the damage lead. I still think we're fine because he doesn't have a minor or anything. Single Tesla so we can DPS Inferno. If he has Blue Blue in the pocket, I can just pull with an Expo. But he's not going to, so I'll go Offensive Expo. And then probably just Fireball is Blue in here if he does play it. Yeah, okay, so... I don't know about that Fireball in things I know. Oh well, um... So the guards, like, actually come down late or something, so... We get some damage in Tower, and then... At this point, all we need to do is, like... Cycle to Fireball. Actually, I'm just gonna... Wait a second, make him have some hope for the last second, but double fireball. He's gonna pinch off the game. So this is probably my matchup, but kinda mess up on that one defense. Still gonna be a nice plus 33. Alright, so the next game now against Thomas from the clan Crown Town. So I guess we start off oh my god, it's doing gun barrel, ice bear first play. So um probably just gonna be classic log bait or possibly prince bait as well. But, okay, that was... I don't think I got my knight down fast enough there. So yeah, his princess gets two shots. 
And with the Goblin game, this is looking like a classic logweed deck. Um, like with the Ice Berry and the Goblin Gang. So I don't think this matchup's gonna be too bad for us just because we have like Mirror Expo, which can probably get a lot of value for us because like he uses Rocket and then maybe we can just go in for like a Mirror Expo and get a lot of damage because he probably won't expect it. So let's just go Expo now. He's an Ice Spear. I'm just gonna ignore the barrel because I want to have enough to play my Knight in offense. Cause yeah, I know he has to place me on top. And then I don't know what he's gonna do. Okay, he gives the good game. And Expo's gonna lock. Um, what's he gonna do? Maybe Princess. Okay, I thought he was gonna try to Princess. Um, the yeah, Expo to kill. Like I'm gonna log just because he's gonna allow my Expo to get a little bit more damage and power. And then he has Princess. I'll just go with uh, Mirror Log on that to get some extra chip so pretty good start for us he's gonna give us the laughing emote so okay we just go ahead fire but like i'm barrel and we can relax now just because he doesn't have princess or barrel and cycle so okay he might like try to rocket cycle but i still think we can win just if we keep up pressure but he's definitely gonna try to like start throwing rockets down and double just because we're up so much damage Okay, Goblin King, I don't really know if that was a really good push, I guess, on his end. Because we stopped it pretty easily, and then we're probably just going for an expo now, just because we're going to have an archer counter pushing. And it's in a logman in Tesla, and my Inferno in Tesla. So we do catch the Inferno Tower here. And then I'm just going to go archer so we can help DPS his Valk, and then if it goes Goblin King, I'm just going to log. Because. It's pretty good to log on offense when they're on low elixir because as you can see my axe is gonna lock on tower and it's gonna bring it into uh, any fireball range here. So it right, looks like he is gonna give up, so it's gonna go fireball on tower. Uh, I guess like decent magic for us is because he we can catch them with like the Savage Factor. They don't really expect me to have the mirror expo and basically I'm gonna win the game off the bat. So yeah, I guess I'll see you all in the next game. Okay, so I'm not sure again, Cedric from Dark Zero, he's gonna give us the wow, maybe he, like, knows what I'm playing or something, maybe he's seen the channel, but we're gonna try our best to get this win here, and he's not gonna do anything, we'll just cycle our log on the right, and then I guess we'll split Archer now, kinda just wait. Um, okay, cycles in front of Dragon, I'm gonna go Expo on the right, might be Balloon or Mega Knight. And with the Bowler Barbaro, this is looking a lot like just the Lumberjack Balloon Freeze deck that you kind of see a lot on ladder. And unfortunately, uh, this Bowler's gonna get one hit on my tower, which is kind of annoying. But also, like, us having no Ice Spirit, I think this matchup gets a tiny bit more difficult, but maybe we can get, like, some clutch Mirror Teslas off and could help us out. Want to see. Is that? Oh my god, the Lumberjack gets a hit. I'm just gonna go Expo because he doesn't have his Bowler or Lumberjack in cycle, so... Yeah, I'm gonna get some damage here. Um, it's not gonna be, like, too much. And wait, is the tower? Okay, I target the E-Drag, so I can just Knight to kite the Inferno Drag back. Because if the tower's on the Inferno, then... I think my Knight would've died. And I would've had to Fireball. So... I don't know, I don't really know if I want to reveal to him that I have mirror yet. So I'm just gonna go skeleton, start us around the bowler so it takes three shots. Okay, we kind of messed up. I'm gonna go archers as well because that would have got like a lot of damage. So not the best defense in our end, but I still kind of want to save my mirror. Maybe catch him by surprise. I'm just gonna let that barb go. Could have like wasted four elixir just to not take the damage, but I think this isn't a bad situation for us and he's gonna go balloon now so all right probably gonna freeze or something he's gonna fireball the balloon okay i'm gonna fireball again um i kind of um had to use it there because the balloon definitely would have got a hit if i tried to do like anything else so he's gonna go to the arch of the back and we're down like a tiny bit of damage but it's still gonna come back with like a mirror fireball and he's like an E-Drag same time, so yeah, I knew he tried to go Bowler, and it's not going to have like that much of in hand. Go ahead and Fireball, the Inferno Dragon, the Bowler. And then Skeleton as well, just to 
Okay, he actually like went freeze at the same time, which is kind of fortunate. So you don't really get that much damage off that expo, surprisingly. And I guess we'll expo again on the right, I mean the left, because he doesn't have a bowler in hand. I'm gonna go log, just kill that Barbaro. But he's like about to bowl, I'm gonna go knight. Wait, does that have splash? Okay, yeah, it does. So this is a dead expo. Mm, okay, so we gotta try to figure out how to get some damage, but I think we might be able to here just because he didn't have like, any tank in cycle again. Yeah, okay, so this is gonna be a good fireball. I think the E drag dies two shots to the archer. Alright, perfect. So I'm gonna go knight and then log as well just so we can't get his bow down in time. Alright, perfect. So my Esp is gonna get a lock on tower. He almost had enough to play it. So this should put us in a comfortable lead. We should be able to win now. So I'll just go with uh, like another test that I don't know. I think we'll be good here. Then I can just go archers. He's gonna freeze. I don't think I need a fireball because of the other tower helping out. Is that gonna hit? Oh my god, that was so close. But luckily, Loon's gonna hit. I'm just gonna go expo. And then I don't think his bone cycle can have fireball lumberjack. There's the log as well in the barbaro. I suppose it's gonna lock on actually for decent on ship. It's gonna go knight, so the knee drag. Um, just make sure to get the tower. And then I'm gonna go defensive expo. So I'm not sure if like two fireball mirror does enough, but I wanna play it safe. Okay, you can see drive the back. I think I'm actually gonna fireball that twice here. Just cause we have defensive expo up, we shouldn't have a hard time defending the balloon. But oh yeah, it's actually gonna put in a fireball range, so I'm just gonna cycle back. Go to fireball on this tower. Kind of a cheesy play with the spell cycle there at the end. And he's pretty pissed off, but Slumber Loom player, so he kind of deserves it. Alright, it's funny you're here against Sir Grey from Jaws Army. And okay, it's kind of tempting to axe with first play just because we have our mirror as the next card, but I think it's a little risky, so I'm not going to do it. Um, I'm just going to kind of wait, see what he has, but I guess we'll go Knight in the back since he's not going to play anything. Uh, okay, it's gonna be Sparky, so I think we should go defensive basketball here. It's probably the safest thing to do when they go Sparky in the back and single. Like, you could, I'm pretty sure 7-4 uh, goes, like, when he, like, used to play, he would normally expo opposite. Okay, I'm just gonna actually do that, because he probably didn't expect us to have mirror, but... Yeah, 7-4, I saw him go expo opposite lane a lot when they go Sparky in the back, but... In my opinion, it's like kind of a risky play because you could just lose right away. And he's got like a lot of elixir just to kill that expo. So he doesn't have arrows to cycle for our archers, so we should be able to defend this pretty easily. Oh my god, he's gonna go Skeleton King. So we do have our long and cycle. We yeah, there's the ability. So he's gonna get like a decent amount of damage, but I still think it's worth it because we get his tower down to 1200 HP. So we're looking pretty good, like going into double elixir. Although I assume he's gonna spark you the back again. Um, if he goes on the right, then I will just expo and take tower, but I assume he won't. So, okay, since go spark in the left, I'm gonna defensive expo because there's really no point in going offensive on the right side because we already got so much damage and two giant in front. So I think this should be like a pretty easy defense. So I'm just gonna skeleton so we can keep archers alive a bit and help DPS the giant. He's gonna go arrow. Um, okay, let's just fireball and then knight. Oh, Sparky didn't splash. Okay, that's just gonna target the expo, which is kind of good for us because he's supposed to deal with our knight. So he's gonna go musketeer. And okay, our cycle's kind of awkward. So I think I'm just gonna go mirror knight because I've had to spend more like on the musk. So he's probably gonna giant to support the Sparky, so I'm gonna go Skeletons, maybe we can get our Knight to help TPS the Giant down. Oh, he actually left the Expo lock on the Sparky, it was kind of a mistake, so it's forced to zap as well, which is good for us. And this defense should be easy, I don't think we need to use our Knight, so I'm just gonna go Offensive Expo in the middle, since I don't think he's back to Giant yet. If I go Skarmy, I could borrow that, but I don't think it's really worth it, I'm just gonna kind of play things slow. Sickle my archers on the right here, so we can't get tower damage on the left. He goes arrow. Okay, I'm gonna fireball. It's gonna get decent value. And then I wanna wait till he use the ability before I log, kinda. Alright, yeah, it's full log now. 
and it's gonna be a pretty good defense and we're up about 500 damage okay this is a defensive axle right away for his sparky and go skeleton army over there i'm just gonna go tesla and then i'm gonna knight immediately so my tesla doesn't die to his sparky and then we charge to this side uh top dks side down and then go skeletons just to distract and i'm gonna mirror skeletons because i I feel like if I went log, Sparky still would've got a shot. Then we can offensive expo since we have like a sliver of HP remaining on the other one. And he does come back to giant unfortunately. So I'm just gonna let's go. Set up with a low Tesla. He's gonna go Sparky on top of our expo. But I think we should be okay here. He has to spend a link on arrows probably. And then... Okay, this is a little tricky. Alright, he's gonna give us actually a decent powerball, so I'm just gonna take it and then try to bait all our logs in Skarmy, but I still wanna log on the other side for the Skeleton King and the Sparky, and then just go Skeleton Surround. Good night, just to help DPS a giant. Then we already cycle back to another Tesla up high. Just gonna deal with everything nicely. I'm gonna go Tesla low, because I'm kinda scared of those bats, and then we just fireball against that Skeleton King Mosque. And then Log is gonna clean everything up. So, okay, we're actually down like some elixir, depending on if you put this where he had 10 or not. But let's go Tesla, and I'm gonna ignore this Garmy. And hold on, okay, yeah, Fireball's gonna be good here. He has Skeleton King as well, actually, which is pretty nice. And he's gonna arrow the corner, so I don't doubt that was a mistake. He's probably just giving up here. So, yeah, it's gonna be GG. I mean, this match is kind of annoying. Uh, I lost for like five. Wait, did we just? Okay, I thought we just choked there, but yeah, he is not too happy about that. I mean, probably didn't expect us to have the mirror expo on single elixir, which probably allowed us to win there and kind of came in clutch. So yeah, it's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. My next one, I'll probably just be pushing to like top one thousand ladder since I'm kind of low right now. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.